Hi everybody, this is Milorad here. Uh, some of you, and not many of you, know me as aspiring YouTuber and wildlife and especially birds photographer, amateur photographer for that matter. And then um, a couple days back, I kind of um, went on the YouTube and caught a video from um, another YouTuber and photographer, Phil Tatch. And Phil was uh, recording that video from the hospital bed. He had a heart attack. And, um, and that was actually um, very concerning to me. And I wish Phil all the best. Why I was concerning about that? Because Phil is not the first one of YouTubers and bird photographers that had some health problems. Uh, just maybe a week or two ago, there was uh, Dwayne Patton from Australia, another YouTuber and bird photographer that was uh, talking about his um, replacement, his surgery. He was talking about surgery to replace his pacemaker because he had heart attack well, I don't know how many years back. This pacemaker is actually keeping him alive. And then maybe a month ago, there was another YouTuber and wildlife photographer. He's running um, Wild Alaska YouTube channel. His name is Scott West. And he also had heart attack or something similar. I don't remember if he specified what kind of um, health problem he had. And then there's another uh, YouTuber and a bird photographer from Australia, Jan Wegener. And I also know that he has some health problems. And lots of these bird photographers having health problems. Well, I thought that uh, going into bird photography will give you kind of a relaxing way to escape every day's uh, stress and just to go out, take pictures of birds and enjoy yourself being outside and, and not, uh, not having a stress, stress that every day's life is bringing to us. And then when I saw these uh, four people um, having health problems and heart attacks, I was kind of thinking, uh, what is going on? Am I the next? Well, hopefully not. But I don't know what, what is the reason that these um, bird photographers and YouTubers having these health problems Maybe because it's stressful to have a YouTube channel, especially when you monetize, that means you kind of have a pressure to put the videos almost every, not almost, but every week for sure, maybe even more often than a, a once a week. And I don't know if that is the reason or not, but uh, for me, I should be safe because I'm, I'm putting videos almost every week, but there's no pressure because I'm not monetized at all. And um, that means in that, in that, uh, that pressure of putting uh, videos all the time, uh, I don't have that. But anyway, um, it's kind of uh, very, very concerning to me that these people, YouTubers and bird and wildlife photographers having these um, health problems. 
and I hope it, this is just a coincidence and not some kind of pattern. And uh, I wish them all, I mean all of them, the best. I wish them health and I wish them also to keep doing what they're doing because they are really, really good uh, YouTubers and, and, and photographers as well. And uh, to end this a little bit on maybe a little bit better note, I will put some of my latest uh, pictures of birds that I took with my, my newest setup gear. This is what I have here, it's Canon R6 Mark II that I acquired maybe uh, six, seven months ago. And also there is uh, this RF 100 to 500 millimeter L lens that I also acquired uh, maybe two months ago, maybe even less. And uh, it's difficult actually for me to have all this equipment, it's very expensive. And I don't have any resources uh, from a YouTube channel or sponsorship or anything like that. But this is my gear for um, to have for quite some time and I hope it will last. One more time, I want all these YouTubers and bird and wildlife photographers like Phil Touch, Wade Patton, Jan Wegener and Scott West, all the best. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing really, really good. Thank you very much. That's it for today. Please stay for the gallery of some pictures of my birds that I took recently. Thank you very much for watching Millerad out. Peace.